All right, that's the former president outside a bodega uh, in Washington Heights, New York City. You could hear the chants of Viva Trump in the background, Dagan. I see you pointing your finger. You're probably noticing something. No, no, no. Awesome. I just want to, you never know when we, we, when President Trump was in office, we got used to chopper chat. So when he would walk out from the White House to Marine One, you always listened closely to see what he might say because he would stop talking and then start talking again and stop talking and start talking again. So I was just mm -hmm. listening mm -hmm. to see what the crowd was saying to the president. We'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, let's bring in our power panel, Fox Business oh. anchor David Asman and Freedom Works chief economist and committee to unleash prosperity co-founder Steve Moore. Fellas, welcome to you both. Hey. Never a dull uh, moment. Wow. Okay, so that was fascinating. Oof. Steve, I'll start with you. Yeah. Tell me, because Dagan painted the scene for yeah. us earlier. We saw it there. What does it mean? So when I came away from that, especially the early part of that little impromptu press conference, was Trump is very effective at basically saying, they're not just coming after me. Mm. They're coming after you. And all of us are, uh, you know, vulnerable to these kinds of, um, you know, uh, charges that most Americans, I think, are unfair. And that's a very effective campaign argument for him because, you know what, it rings true. This could, you know, what's that old movie, it could happen to you? Mm. Any of us could be in that kind of situation when you have a justice system that is looking more and more bifurcated and unfair every day. Is President Trump taking questions again? Like I said, do you want to listen? No. Republican has ever had the African-American support that I have. So we're going to make a heavy play for New York. We'll work with the Democrat mayor. We'll work with the Democrat governor. And we're going to get the state fixed up. Ryan, go ahead. used to be the city that never slept. Now these diners can't stay open at 2 a.m. in the morning. Now it's a city that always sleeps. Yeah. We'll get it straightened out. We're going to work with the mayor. We're going to work with the governor. Democrats. I'll work with Democrats. We have to straighten out New York. New York, if it, if it goes any further out, it'll never come back. What do you believe you violated the gag order? What? Do you believe you violated the gag order? No, I didn't. Why there shouldn't be a gag order. Let me just tell you. The gag order is totally unconstitutional. The judge should not be there. The judge is highly conflicted. He should not be there. Well, you can take your posture. You're not going to accept any here. You know, you're in Harlem. You're in a different neighborhood. A lot of people make support. I think we're going to connect. I think we're connecting already. I mean, I was, I was invited here by the Bodega Association. And, you know, they're being treated very badly between the, all the rock. They're getting robbed two, three times a week, the stores. Uh, I think we're doing very well. The migrants have taken over New York. You have 500,000 illegal migrants in New York. The people of New York are not going to take it. That's why they're going to vote for Trump. Thank you. Speak your job, Speak your job. 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 Spe
uptown neighborhood, yeah. and this is it, it might as well be Nebraska. That this is a neighborhood <laughs> that, that Upper West Side liberals wouldn't want to be at at nighttime, and yet Donald Trump, everybody that I heard was right. pro-Trump in there. That wow. does it for us, Steve, David, and you too.